in lesson 12, they want kids to go from ratio table understanding to double number line diagrams. It's just another tool you can use to help you solve a problem. Um, it is a New York State standard. I don't know if it's the easiest way to do it, but some kids might visually like the representation. So I'm going to give you a very easy problem, and then we're going to go to a harder one. For every three hours of babysitting, Kelly makes $36. How much money will she earn if she babysits for seven hours? So I'm going to introduce you to a double number line diagram. It looks like this. And you're going to label your double number line diagram. We are comparing Kelly's hours that she works to the money that she makes. <coughs> okay. The first ratio they give me is Kelly works three hours, she makes $36. So I'm going to skip count on the top by threes. Three, six, nine. On the bottom, I'm going to count by 36s. 36, 72, 36, and then it goes, if you do 36 times 3, you get 108. The problem with this double number line diagram is that you don't have a seven. Okay, so there's two ways you can tackle this problem. I'm going to show you the more difficult way first. If you don't get this way, you're going to have to choose the easier way, and that's fine too. Okay, to get seven, I'm going to look at here. I'm going to break this part, this section of my line up. I'm going to do six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, because I make two slashes on my top number line, I have to make them in equal parts on my bottom. So you've just broken this section of the number line into three equal sections, and you've broken this one into three equal sections. Okay? Six to nine is three, and three divided by three is one, so that's why you get to count by ones up here. Okay, now down here, this section of the line is worth 36 because we're counting by 36s. If I take 36 and split it into three equal parts, I get 12. So each one of these parts is worth 12. So if your number line is here, and you want to figure out what goes here and here, you have to add 12 to each section. So 72 plus 12 is 84. So that would go here. 84 plus another 12 is 96. So that would go here. So now I'm going to go back to my word problem, and it says how much money will she earn if she babysits for seven hours? Seven hours is this line up here, which correlates to this line down here, which is $84. That might have your head spinning. Don't worry. Okay? I'll teach you an easier way to do it. It's always an easy way. Okay? Hours to money for Kelly. Okay? Every three hours... She makes $36, okay? Let's scale this down, okay? 3 and 36 have a common factor, okay? And it is 3. 3 divided by 3 is going to get you down to 1. 36 divided by 3 is going to get you down to 12. Now I would skip count by 1s. I would skip count by 12. So it's 1, 2... 12, 24, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 hours is what we're looking for. And you can skip count by 12s on the bottom. And that is the easier way to do it. Please pick whichever way works for you. Um, that's the way we want you to feel successful with. I hope this helps with the double number line diagram.